You know, there comes a day, man. Everyone's gonna have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre, is just sickening to you. It's just sickening. It makes you wanna throw up. Because you've seen people with far less talent than you. As you're growing up with them, their childhood buddies, whatever else, they didn't have what you had. Yet now they're fucking to become something that you haven't. There comes that day. It's either when you're young, you know, and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out. Or it's it's when you get fired from your fifth job, you know, and your wife and kids are on your ass because you don't know how to support them anymore. There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns and sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out. But you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were going to fail. You were scared if you started you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it. Until something fucking hits. You get fired or somebody else gets success to remind you of what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never gonna be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it gets knocked down, you just keep going, keep going, you're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. That can happen at an early age, it can happen at a later age. It's gonna happen to somebody every, you know, no matter what, it's gonna happen to you. And when it does happen to you, thank your lucky stars that finally you're alive. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. Superior, man. It's within you. It's within every single one of us. And the people that have, that have, have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just that they believed it and they're willing to work their fucking ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It was about the perseverance. And it was about being the hardest fucking worker in the room. That's what got them there. And it didn't happen overnight. They got knocked down more than they ever stood up. But they kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going. Because what else is the alternative? To be average again. That sucks, man. And it really sucks when you've tasted success at one point in your life. When you, when, you, when you have sex with a woman and it's the best sex ever, you want to have sex with her again. When you eat a fucking great juicy steak, man, you want to have that again. When you go out and you train hard to play baseball and you connect and you hit the winning home run, you want to feel that way again. When you taste these finer things of life, all the pain, all the work, all the sacrifice to get them is well worth it. If anything, it's a small down payment for the price and the reward you got and that feeling. And once felt, how do you ever turn your back on it? Stop running from the potential of what you can be, guys. It's inside of you, it's always been there. Grab a buddy of yours. Say, man, me and you are gonna fucking do this together. And you're gonna be on my ass if I start slacking. I'm gonna be on your ass if I start slacking. And I'll never accept mediocre again. I'm always gonna give it my 110 fucking percent. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. That's all that I will ever find peace in. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. If there's potential inside of you, which you know it's there, but you're too scared to tell anyone else about it, and you go on and on, get older and older and older and older, and the windows of opportunity start to close, and you knew it could have been given birth to, but you never did it, I promise you, it will haunt you. It'll be more, it's a living nightmare, dude. That fact that you have the ability to do something and you're too weak to fucking turn the key and start the engine on it is a greater disappointment and a greater burden to carry than any of this physical sweat equity or pain in the gym or, or, or sacrifice. All that is just nothing compared to a life where you're burdened by regret, guys. I hope you guys get what the fuck I'm saying. I'm telling you what, man, once you get it, come on over this side of the fence, you don't see fucking problems anymore, man. Uh-uh. You see situations. You see possibilities. And you can't wait to get them started, man. You're like, why did I wait so long to engage? It doesn't matter about the past. It's today. What are we doing today? What are we going to engage now? And once we engage, we commit 
There's no half commitment, there's no quarter commitment, there's no three quarter, it's full commitment. Once we engage, it's every fucking day we engage. Because that's the better life. And the people you surround yourself are like-minded. And they're better friends. Friends and family for life, man. They have your back. They're solid individuals doing solid tasks, leaving a solid impact of legacy for other people. That's a fucking solid life, man. It's your option, though. What are you gonna do?